You guys' home is only 30 minutes long. Yeah, it's right down there. My name's Otter. This here is Moose. We'll be introducing you to this lovely area of Poblano. Um, we both work for the Continental Tie and Lumber Company. Can you guys tell me what we do here at the Continental Tie and Lumber Company? Tie and lumber stuff? Tie and lumber stuff. You guys are loggers? That's a good guess. Yeah. yeah. I haven't heard it yet, though. Our main export here. I heard one person say it once yesterday. Railroad ties? Railroad ties. That is incorrect. That's our main export. One main export. And that one main export is to look good. Rule number one, look good. Rule number two, don't die. Rule number three, if you must die, look good doing it. All right. If you youngins need any advice on not dying, ask your advisors. They've been not dying for longer than you have. I'm sure they have plenty of advice. They've been looking good in the process. Mandatory, fast. All right. So, Continental Tie and Lumber Company was started in 1907. Today. Boom is our seventh annual company meeting, all right? I'll tell you all about it in a little bit, but that's not where I'm going at right now. Right now I'm going with seventh annual company meeting, started in 1907. What year does that make it right now? 1940. What's your name, buddy? Caleb. Caleb, did you go to public school? No. No. Big bucks are paying off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. 1914. If you look up at the American flag up there, there will be 48 stars because it's only 48 states. New Mexico just became a state in 1912, which was two years ago. Frank Woodrow Wilson. Wait, uh, go ahead. Woodrow Wilson's in the White House. And what's that guy's name? That hungry Austrian guy, Franz Ferdinand. He got shot. Who has four thumbs? And it isn't their problem. Is that on the way? <laughs> we are isolationists. We do not care about Europe's affairs. They're Europe's problems, not ours. It'll be done by Christmas. That big ship, the Titanic. Uh, that thing sank. Bad idea, right? Guess how many people cared it sank? Three. Otter, myself, and Crazy Gun. Jack owed us money. That's Crazy Gun over there. He's crazy. Don't talk to him. <laughs> Everyone say hi, Crazy Gun. Hi, hi Crazy hi, Gun. Gun. What did he just tell you? Don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really bad at following. You guys are really bad at playing. <laughs> <laughs> We're just messing with you. Anyways, moving on. Do you guys want to do some carefree, fun-loving program here at Pavlana? You guys were already talking about it. I don't know, you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, here is the thing. You guys can't do any program here because we don't got none. Don't we got none. We only got manly logging work, work all right? We can train you guys how to become high climbers. Boom, in our high climbing load. load. Let's see. I still don't know how many. It'll be three. Three? So you guys can climb a three? Yep. I guess three. you guys can climb a three, which is like pretty soon. Things you need for climbing. <laughs> right? No, that wasn't right? Thing number one. All right, long pants. Boom. All right. Flat. Next thing. Boom. Boom. All right, next, next thing. All right, a water container full of fresh poblano water. That water will give you the strength to get out the pole. All right, it's lastly, like lastly, it's optional. Not necessary, long sleeves, all right? That's just to make your silky smooth forearms stay smoky smooth for the ladies, all right? So, your forearms are not smoky smooth. I know, that's why I don't want the ladies. <laughs> but anyways, so those are the four things you need at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, just go run on over there, so pretty much I have this sports talk, alright? Cool. We're gonna have like nine crews for that. Are we? Tie cutting, we also can do tie cutting. You guys know what a railroad tie is? Yeah, yeah the wood thing that goes on the metal thing, yeah. <laughs> alright? Yeah. So, we'll make railroad ties, make a round log into a square one. It's a lot of fun. We use saws, axes, sledgehammers, all that good stuff. We can do that anytime, just come up here and be like, hey, we want a railroad tie cut. And I'll be like, alright, and get someone, or go over there myself, the railroad tie cut. Anytime before 5 o'clock. It's easy, simple, exciting. Alright. Now, we have evening activities planned. Like I said, tonight's our seventh annual company meeting, so we're gonna have some, some, uh, some celebrations. Recreation. Recreation for it. All right, starting at 6:45, this porch right here becomes Club Blano. Club Blano. Yeah, Club Blano. Woo! 18 and up, we ID at the door. We have a bouncer. All right, we have a bouncer. Her, Her name, name is Samantha. Samantha. <laughs> she cards hard. <laughs> I will have coffee, cider, hot chocolate. Maybe not cider. We ran out of that a while ago. <laughs> Cookies. That have been touched by 300 other advisors. Yes, stale cookies, um, intelligent conversations, and entertainment. 
You may be wondering what the entertainment is. The entertainment will be provided by you youngins. Yeah. The entertainment will be the Locker Ball! Locker Ball! Locker Ball at 6.45. All you youngins meet at this pitcher's mound right there. We'll start reading out the rules for Locker Ball, all right? You may be asking, what is Locker Ball? Real question. What is it, Locker Ball? All right? Is it feminine? That's is it what it feminine? Is. All right, 6.45. All your answers will be questioned at the pitcher's mound. Be there or don't be there. <laughs> After a club lano, after we play a game of log brawl, around 8 o'clock ish, we'll go down to our campfire bowl. We'll have that company meeting that I was talking about. We'll do some company business. Tell some songs, say some skits, sing some jokes, sing some stories, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It'll be fun. We will make you laugh, cry, and question your very existence. All right, now here's the thing about company meeting, all right? We have a team of experts, all right? They're researching like crazy, trying to figure out why. But every year when we have a company meeting, it gets cold and dark. Makes no sense. I'm trying to figure out why. All they know is it's going to happen. It's going to happen tonight during our 7th annual company meeting. So to prevent this, bring something warm. Bring something to light. Light in your night, all right? Makes sense? We don't get it, but it happens every night. We're going to try to prevent this. One of these days, it's never going to get cold and dark. But not today. <laughs> the not sun will today. rise tomorrow. Yeah. You may be dead, but the sun will rise. All right, we got an open porch policy. Come out, hang out all you want. There's just a couple rules on the porch. Rule number one, no eating on the porch. Boom. Don't do it. Not good. We do that because the food goes between the cracks, right? Right. And the little logger children, they live down there. You can see some of their toys like shivs and prison shanks and uh, there's a dead mini bear and a rusty fork. Um, I see a pen. When they, when they get that food, they get this faint little glimmer of hope that there's some light at the end of the tunnel. There's not. <laughs> And they get that hope, and they go a little nuts, and they try and burn down the mesa. Again. They've tried it multiple times before. Three times. Look at that. See that? Successful. Logger children. Logger children. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, we got some more rules. We do have open porch, but we do close down our porch every once in a while. Between like, uh, let's say like 5.30, 6 30-ish, around. 5, five to 6. 5 to 6.30-ish. I mean, these are rough times. You close on a porch for staff dining time, right? You'll be eating dinner probably around that time. We'll be eating dinner around that time. So let's eat dinner in different locations, all right? Yep. So <laughs> that will be that. Um, also, don't be running around our porch for just for most of you guys before 8 a.m. Don't be like, ah, I don't know where I'm going today. Ah! Don't do that. I sleep in that room. He sleeps in that room. He does not like it when scouts go like, Wah! At 6.30 in the morning. This happens, this happens before. so many times. Now, if you have like a health watch case or something, come on up, knock on the door. We'll help you out. No yes. problem. If you, you need help, a problem, we can help, help you. you. We'll also have um, a bag, and you guys can quickly use this stuff, but do it quietly. For your right? garbage. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we You're my hero. All right. Uh, who here likes to drink water? Boom. Oh, yeah. Water drinkers. Yeah. Yeah. Don't like drinking you water. Like, oh, He's probably going to die. It's going to be a long trek for you, then. <laughs> All right, we got us, Miguel. If you go around this trail, three, two, on the side of the cabin, it goes down a ditch, up ditch, curves over to the left, bam, there's this Spago. This invention, crazy, all right? All right, it's very easy. There's a pipe coming out of the metal ground. That pipe has a knob on top of it. That knob, you turn it, water comes out of the pipe. Whoa. All right? Unturn that knob, water stops coming out of that pipe. Crazy. All right, that water coming out of that pipe, Perfectly good to drink, all right? Purified. We already purified it, so you don't have to. All right? 100% guarantee not to give you the butt pee. All right? Speaking about butt pee, who here likes to poop? If you don't like poop, then it's going to be a long trek. It's going to be an explosive homecoming, let me tell you. <laughs> Pooping is like my third favorite activity. Cool. Right after dressing in funny clothes and lying to kids. <laughs> you are good at those. I'm good at But anyways... Pooping right there is your red beacon of hope in your darkest of hours. That is a pooping palace. Right. Ooh, some guy just used it. <laughs> All right, so this this one's a custom-made pooping palace. We got custom-made splinter-free seats cleaned in recent memory. All right, and then we got grip and rip handles for extra squeeze and power. All right, go over there, use the pooping palace if you need to. Bring your own pooping tickets, though. Bring your own pooping tickets. There's no pooping tickets over there. Over there, you might see a poop palace looking like structure. That is not a poop palace. That is a compound. compound. Like crazy over there. They, uh, I guess it was like two days ago now. He was like, I'm crazy. Woo! 
All right. <laughs> and he showed us how crazy he was by drinking a gallon of cranberry juice and eating 15 packets of apricots in an hour. All right. It was impressive. It was crazy. All right. It was explosive. It was explosive. And he showed that compound over there how explosive it was. Have you ever seen a Red Roof turn into a one-time user? Gross. It is gross. He brings a new meaning to the term Red Roof. All right. If there wasn't a roof on that Red Roof over there, he would have been the first law in space. That's right. His head <laughs> hit the ceiling. Gross. There's blue everywhere. So don't go on in there. We even took the Griffin Rippers over there for him. We did. We did. We gotta get someone in a biohazard suit to come get this. Alright, we're working on getting a new hole dug for it. We're working on cleaning up the walls because, oof, it is gross. Awesome. He's gonna do that. Though. But it might take a little while, so don't go in there. It is unsanitary for your sanitary. That made no sense. Unsanitary for your sanitary. <laughs> you guys heard of swap boxes, Otter right? Went to public schools. Yes. Swap boxes, yeah. Swap boxes, yes, yes. You you like some swap box, don't you? You're a fan of swap boxing, right? Well, we don't got a swap box here, right? We got something better than a swap box. We got this right here. It's a capitalism box. This is America, so we take, 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 take. Without the regards of others, all right? <laughs> Works very easy, very simple. You just open up this lid. Usually you have to tell a staff member, get out of the capitalism box. We want to go in there because we usually sit here. All right. It's true. But then you open this lid, find something you want, all right, and you take it. Think you can handle it? All right, there's only two reasons why I want to see deposits, all right? Can you explain those for me? Reason number one, running for public office. You need to impress your constituency with a charitable donation. Number two, Tax write-offs. You guys itemize? You, itemize? you guys even know what itemizing is? No. Well, either way, we'll write you a receipt. You give that receipt to the government. You probably won't have to pay taxes for two years or so. Or you'll get a visit from men in black suits and they'll be mad. You write a note, the note will be like, please do not tax this man for a year or years. Sincerely, Poblano. All right. I mean, worst case scenario, you end up with three squares a day and a warm bed and a cellmate named Sally. I don't know. Weird. <laughs> All Weird. right. Moving but anyways, on. trash. You guys got trash? See? Yep. Yeah. Well, I don't take no trash. No way, no how. But I will take your highly compacted garbage. All right? Here's how you do it. Once you have a crew, your crew, wow, you got a crew, right? Bam, right there, right? Your crew has pieces of trash. You can pack that as a crew into one nice piece of garbage, right? Once you get that one nice piece of garbage, We'll have a black bag hanging right here. All right, or it'll be inside. Feel free to use this black bag if it's hanging right there. If there's not a black bag hanging right there, just knock on the door and be like, ah! And then someone will come out and we'll be like, hey, we got some garbage for you. And we'll take care of it, deal with it properly. All right, we also try cycle. All right, you, if you guys try cycle, we'll try cycle. We clear cut the forest, killing everything in sight. But we try cycle. Makes no sense. We care about the environment. We care about the environment. Just not this one. But we will kill it to make some money. All right. <laughs> Crew leaders. Looks like Where'd I you will. go? Where'd you go? Right there. Bam. Bam. All right. Point me out to your chaplain's aides. Raise your hand, dude. There you are, dude. There you are. All right. You guys, I'm going to give you one assignment. Whenever you are leaving my canyon, all right, Poblano, all right, which is like past our campsites, when you're going to the flume, when you're going to wherever you're going in the morning, all right, do you need to remind yourselves, to remind your crew leaders, to sign out right there, all right? You can handle it. All right. Now, who is the wilderness guy? Wilderness guy, just raise your hand. Yeah. Yeah. All right, wilderness guys. I'm gonna have a sign for you guys too, all right? Whenever, when you guys are leaving, you're gonna be like playing around with your pack a little bit, right? And a mini bear is gonna pop out and be like, <laughs> all right? And then you're gonna be like, why is there a mini bear in my pack? And then it's gonna start yelling at you. It's gonna say, ah, you need to remind your chaplain's ace to remind your crew leaders to sign out, all right? And then you'll be like, yes, I do. And then you'll do it, all right? Think you guys can handle it? Ooh. All of you, all six of you? Cool. Um, let's hurry up. We gotta get these guys to the pulse. All right, don't burn that film up. Don't get your face ripped off, bears. Got any questions? What is fast? No. <laughs> All right. Bears like to play a game. It's called Tag Your Dead. Don't play with them. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So I got nothing else. You guys can hang out. You guys can get your blowing pants, your boots. Head over to the spar pole yard. All right.